Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'd like to talk to you about how I got scammed in Bulgaria and how you can avoid the same thing happening to you. Okay, so on the way back from Tel Aviv, we had six hours to kill in Sofia, Bulgaria. It's a beautiful city. We headed downtown in a taxi, it took about 15 minutes, cost about 15 euros. Once we got there, we decided to do a bit of shopping and have a bit of lunch. So I was wandering around the shops. I came across a little plaza and they had boutiques in there selling um, fur coats, uh, nice jackets with rhinestones and things like that. And uh, I decided to purchase a jumper with rhinestones. It was only about 18 pounds or 18, yeah, 18 pounds and um, i decided uh, to use my debit barclays debit card i was just simply too lazy to find somewhere to change money or to find an atm so i decided to use my barclays debit card that was a big mistake so when i presented my card to the assistant she said to me oh you don't have cash so I said, no, I don't have cash. Can I not pay by card? She said, yes, of course you can pay by card. I just need to plug in my card machine. So I said, okay. And while she was doing that, I decided to try the top on uh, just to make sure it fit nicely. And um, yeah, so she plugged in this card machine. I came out from the changing room, gave her my card. She took the payment and um, everything was fine I checked my receipt just to make sure the amount was correct and I left the shop I shopped around a little bit more, bought some sunglasses and, you know, some other little things. And then I went to have lunch uh, at this really nice little street side cafe. I had uh, pizza and a Greek salad, which was really nice. And the price was really good. Everything there is pretty cheap. Anyway, um, whilst I was sat down eating my food, I had a text come through from Barclays Bank. And um, it, the text said something like, did you make these transactions? And there was a list of a few transactions. Uh, and one of them was one I didn't recognize. So I just pressed no and forgot all about it. So the next day I arrived back in the UK and I received a phone call from Barclays Bank asking me had I made this transaction in Bali 
And I said I've never been to Bali, but it's on my list. So at that point, I knew my card had been compromised out in Bulgaria and I knew exactly which shop it happened in. So Barclays told me that they didn't release the funds because they knew it was not, it was impossible for me to be in Tel Aviv one day, Bulgaria a few hours later, and then Bali a few more hours later. So they didn't allow that transaction to go through, which was great. The transaction was only for like 60 pounds, 61 pounds, so they blocked that transaction. They cancelled my card and sent me out a new one, and that was the end of that. So, my advice to you is, when travelling, especially to Bulgaria, do not use your debit card or credit card. Simply get the cash from the... A reputable ATM or from the bank or from a currency exchange and only spend cash before going to Bulgaria I actually knew that they're very well known for you know scams and cloning cards and everything but I was just you know lazy and I just didn't think it could happen to me so I you know I used my card and it did happen to me but um, I would definitely advise you not to use a debit or credit card in Bulgaria it's so easy and simple to get scammed um, another big red flag is if they say oh we need to do something or plug in the machine or do something if they haven't got the card machine already there set up then that's probably a big red flag. I would avoid paying by card. I would leave the store, go get cash, and then come back if you really want the item. So that's my top tip for visiting Bulgaria. Always use cash. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Thanks for visiting, guys. Bye.